What's up everybody? It's your girl Jamie Jams coming back at you with another reaction video. Today I have a special friend for you all to meet. This Hi. is actually my friend Karen. Hi everyone. And if you've watched my journey and you've been a subscriber of mine for a while, you know that back in April I was diagnosed with cancer and I took a little hiatus. As most of you know, I wasn't posting videos and I was actually away um, at a treatment facility where I met this lovely lady. And this lovely lady, her name is Karen, um, she actually was battling stage four breast cancer when I met her. And I'm gonna let her talk just briefly about her experience and her cancer, just so you guys can get to know her a little bit. Um, and then we'll get into the reaction video that uh, we're gonna do. Hi everyone, it's Karen. So yeah, um, I was diagnosed with uh, stage four cancer this year and with the grace of God and conventional medicine and mostly naturopath medicine, I am healed. And I am so proud to say that, that I get to see my babies grow. And um, after being told that I only had two to five years of life left and to go home and get everything arranged and prepare for death, um, I get to say I get to live. So, so obviously I'm, I'm super happy because we met and we bonded together. And at that time there was a lot of uncertainty Yes. And so she's actually here uh, at my house right now, and she surprised me for my birthday, which was the best surprise I could ever have asked for. And Hardest secret ever to keep, by the way. And I'm so happy that she's now cancer-free. I still continue on my battle, but I'm so happy to hear that Karen is now cancer-free. Um, so back when I was doing the Tom McDonald videos, and I'm sure, do you, do you know who Tom McDonald is? Do you know him? No. So Karen doesn't know who Tom McDonald is, but I've done a couple of his reaction videos. I saw that he did have one for cancer. Um, and full transparency, I've heard parts of his chorus. I've never seen the video and I haven't heard the whole video. And so I thought with her in town, maybe that would be a good one for us to react to together. She really wasn't on the reaction board with me. Um, yeah. So <laughs> definitely give her some love in the comments on this video because it took a little bit of arm twisting to get her in front of the camera today. Oh, yes. But with that being said, we are going to start the video. Again, it is Tom McDonald and the video and the song is called Cancer. Everybody knows someone who's sick. 40% will get cancer. Only half's gonna live. Your mom and your dad and your sister stand inside a room. And someone won't survive it. Do you hope it isn't you? I swear that cancer has a cure, but they're refusing to make it. They've done like 40 years of research, 90 billion in donations. We've been running for the cure and wearing ribbons for ages. Why are people still going through radiation? It's crazy. Hundred billion dollar industry, they can't afford to end it, and nobody wants to die. Our only option is to spend it. We just adding to that a little bit, it's true. You your only option is to spend it, you know. When you find out you have cancer and everyone's kind of just like, try this, try that, try this, try that, you know, you you spend it because you don't have the option to not spend it. You know, mm -hmm. people will send you a link. Hey, I hear this does something like, please try this. And then you research it and you're like, I need this. And then, you know, the next thing you know, you're spending hundreds, if not thousands of dollars, at least Grants. in my case. Yeah. yeah. Several grand. <sighs> Give anything to stick around for just another second Give a fortune to the doctors who promise they can extend it The profits are astronomic, the hospitals and the clinics Are filling coffins with dollars, it's awful, let's just admit it We're all human, we'll keep fighting cause it's how we survive But it's scary cause we don't know where we'll go when we die Don't give up, I know you're strong I will say too, like, you know, having cancer and it's something I haven't experienced before, but your days are long, your, your days are hard and your nights are long. And ever since I had the diagnosis, like, I just don't sleep. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just can't sleep. And I don't know if it's my mind racing or if it's the things I take or what, but I'm up and down all night long. It's almost like the cancer is just moving around and alive while I'm asleep mm -hmm. and keeping me awake. It's it's something I can't describe. I mean, like, for me, when I found out I had cancer, I thought my life was ending, and I'm still struggling, even though I'm, you know, considered healed or full remission, but, I mean, it's the first thing I wake up. It's, I think about it several times during the day, and I have my moments where I break down, and I go to bed many nights crying, you know, knowing, like, is it going to come back? Full revenge, you know, am I going to see my kids grow? How much time do I have left? Or... Why do I get to be the lucky one? 
I mean, cancer really consumes you, not physically, but emotionally as well. It does, for sure. Yeah. We'll keep it rolling. You are fire when it's dire, you are brighter. That line right there is the best line that I think emanates cancer altogether is, you know, you're a fighter when you're tired because you don't have a choice. You don't have a choice. Like no. you have to be strong and you have to fight every single day because you don't have the option to just lay down and give up. No. And we know what happens when you lay down and give up. And so you have to fight. And this goes out to everybody that has cancer and just know that you're not alone. And I hope you have a support person the way I have a support person. And best one. <laughs> She's the best one, actually, but we'll keep it rolling. <laughs> Nothing matters if you don't have your health. All the money in the world doesn't help. The good might go to heaven and the bad might go to hell. But no one wants to leave here, you can tell. And cancer touches everyone, it's in our genetics. And our world's become so toxic, it's all carcinogenic. We've polluted the water, the air, the food we're ingesting is full of hormones and poison. Our population's infected. They sell us cigarettes and liquor, built a business on addictions. We've been paying them to kill ourselves. We're dying to keep living. It's the system, it's a prison. We keep trying to beat it. We get cancer from keeping all of our demons a secret. And our insurance don't cover the things we need to defeat it. And even if it does, then we might die from the treatment. Our best of that right there too. You know, you it go through me. that. You yeah, you battle with the with the healthcare companies and the insurance companies and please cover this and I need this and you know, some of it's covered and some of it's not, and sometimes you end up with a big bill because you need it, and then it just says, you know, you can die from the treatments. I mean, mm -hmm. there are so many treatments where you know, there's books. Um, if you've read the Crispy Cancer book, they talk about some Amazing of it's called book. Desperation Oncology, where they just start throwing things at you because they just don't know anymore. And yeah. you end up in one of those boats and it can kill you. And it's just, it's so incredibly scary. And there hasn't been that many advances in the last 60 years. I mean, in and terms of chemo, it is. Especially with all the money that gets raised. And like the treatments that I did, no coverage. No coverage whatsoever. So it was money all out of pocket, took away from my kids. But you know what? That's fine. I came out of the stronger and... You sure did. Yeah. And I hope I can be an inspiration for you, many of you out there that are going through this journey yourself. So You are for me, that's for sure. Defense is living like we do not know what cancer is. Fight it if you have it and pray that there's something after this. fight when you're afraid you don't know how to be brave until you choose to fight when you're afraid i yeah i you don't have a choice but to be brave and you think you're brave and you think you're strong and you think you're invincible and you think all these things about yourself before you get cancer and you don't think about your health no. and you go out and you drink and you have fun and you eat whatever you want and then one day you get the diagnosis and then all of a sudden you have to be brave and you have to fight when you're afraid and then you know how brave you are. Like I know now how brave I actually am because I don't have a choice to not be. And yeah. Yeah. I mean, I made so many sacrifices. I mean, I know many people would not understand this, but cancer was the best thing for me. I mean, I ate terribly. I didn't exercise. Looking at me now, you couldn't tell I had cancer, but just within this year and doing a lifestyle change, I mean, I've lost so much weight. I'm healthier. I feel better. And just knowing that, like, food can be your power. It's, it's your medicine. medicine. And you can experience strength till you struggle to carry the weight. And you won't know why you have faith till you look the devil in his face. And you don't know what you can take till you realize you didn't break. That clip right there, just going back, um, I don't want to mess with it too much, but just seeing the family like 
pounding on the door and banging their head on the door. It's just, I've seen what it's done to my family. You know, I, I know how hard it is on them. And I feel like sometimes cancer is harder on the people that love you than it is on, on me because yeah. they are helpless in the situation. There's nothing that they can do other than give you their support. And it's hard. And I know it's tiring. And it I think all of my friends and family, each and every one of you, and even my subscribers on my channel that they message me all the time and they just say, keep fighting. You're doing great. You're going to get this. And it's just amazing to have that support system. It it's is. so important. I mean, I never realized how much love there is, especially for me. I had so much support from and friends, families, to even strangers to help me get where I am. And I think that was also part of my journey in all this was to learn how to receive. Right. I mean, it's I've hard. always struggled with that, and I'm still struggling with that today. But my word of advice is if someone is truly offering to help you, accept it. I know, like, you may not be able to repay them, but they are wanting to help you. They want to see you live. Yeah. So, and I mean, just last week, you know, my parents were over helping me with some stuff, and I just kind of looked at them, and I got them dinner, and I just broke down on the floor, and... I just knew that, like, there's no way I can ever repay what they've done for me, you know? And that feeling of, like, having someone love you so much that they'll do anything for you and not being able to repay it is one of the hardest things you have to deal with emotionally when you have cancer. Like, it just Sometimes is. that's worse than cancer. <laughs> you know. Oh, my gosh, the song. Oh. Okay, the waterworks are coming out. I know. song oh, that song is yeah i mean everyone has that little fighter in them just need to find it exactly and you know i i've had this song suggested to me for months now um and i've heard pieces of the chorus um i waited to watch it and i knew you'd come and visit me eventually and sorry I knew, it took so long everyone <laughs> i knew i knew i had to wait to watch it with you because i one i didn't think i could handle it on my own and two um i just knew that it would probably mean something to you too everybody just said how good and how deep it was and how i needed to see it and oh uh, i mean yeah it's an amazing song and i can tell that he obviously dealt with somebody very close to him that had cancer to know i mean he struck a chord with us in a way that you know, only somebody with cancer could know, you exactly. know, all of the things like the help, the treatments, just everything you go through the struggles, financially, the, the struggles, the pain, being up at night, just all of it. It's so overwhelming. And um, yeah, I'm just so glad that you're on now on the other side of things. It just makes me so happy. But and you will, too. Your I, time's going to come. Fingers crossed. Everyone keep praying, yes. keep supporting, sending the love. Yes. Because um, at least for me, like all the support and people just reaching out to me saying, Hey, how you doing? You got this. That was the biggest thing that lifted me up and it made me feel stronger that I had the ability right. to fight this. And many of my subscribers, you guys are doing an awesome job of that for me. And please, um, you know, like the video, share it with your friends. If you know somebody that has cancer, because I always said from the beginning of this, if you follow my story that, I don't know why I got cancer, but I knew that one day I wanted to be an inspiration for somebody. And I know that Karen definitely is an inspiration because she was able to co go from stage four cancer to cancer free in mm -hmm. less than half of a year. So five months. Yes, it's amazing. So please, um, you know, share this video with your cancer friends and, uh, you know, tell them they can reach out to me on my Instagram page. I put it in the beginning of my intro. Um, I'm happy to talk to anybody else that's also struggling that may need a support system. And I know I talked to a couple of you already, um, but I'm so happy to uh, to help all of you. And um, please put in the comments um, how, you know, some support for Karen. Uh, she was so nervous. She did not want to do a video. I, I told her, I said, you must do this one. I've waited months to do this as it's been suggested for me over and over. And I wanted to watch it with you. Please, no harsh comments. My first <laughs> Nobody, time ever. No, no. My <laughs> subscribers are all, they're all great. Thank you guys so much for everything, by the way. Um, but yeah, if you don't subscribe to my channel already, please make sure that you do so. And I will catch you guys on the next one.
Peace and love to you.